Hello my loves and welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. My name is Jessica Alexandria. Thank you so much for hanging out with me once again. Tonight we're going to be doing a pick a card reading. I have three shell options to choose from, but basically the question that we'll be focusing on tonight is what blessed blessings are ready to come into your life or what blessings are on the horizon and the advice that spirit can give you in order to get you to that point, to that place to receive the blessing. Okay, so there's three shells to choose from. This is shell number one. This will be shell number two. This will be shell number three. I haven't shuffled and pulled the cards yet or the tarot or the oracle. I'll be doing that as soon as we go to your number and then we're gonna vibe together. All right, I'll meet you there. All right, my loves, if you chose the first shell, this is your reading. So I just shuffled and pulled from the Wild Wisdom Australia deck. I'm going to place this here, but I have a few cards that I want to be live shuffling for you. So if you don't mind, focus your attention on what blessings are on the horizon for you. Feel free to look into this candle flame. I also have my money and business fixed candle burning here in order to allow extra magic to flow towards you. But also this, even though this is fixed for money and abundance, you can also use it for attracting in blessings, security, stability, and matters of the heart, believe it or not. Okay, give me a moment. I'm going to shuffle and channel for you. What blessings are on the horizon for those that chose the first shell? I can't see these yet, but the number five is standing out to me for you. That might hold significance for you. Okay, let's go ahead and flip these over. So we have the three of cups, we have four of pentacles, eight of cups. We have five of pentacles, and you have the joker. So for me already, the blessings that spirit has in store for you have everything to do with the very things that it is that you have been led to let go of. Even as I say this, I'm hearing a light trickle of rain in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's starting to rain. It feels really restorative. This is in real life. You might be able to hear it in the background, but I'm not sure. Also on my phone, 111 just showed up on my clock or on the clock as my phone lit up. So. I feel as though there's been like very synchronistic, um, I'm, I'm actually hearing synchronistic alignment, especially with Five of Pentacles. Every time where you were led to let go of something, it has ultimately led, um, was leading you into your next blessing. This is things that you were stubborn with, matters of the heart that you were having a hard time letting go of or rel relinquishing control. The word is, is like surrender. Um, let's say you're stuck in a situation or just trying to force something to happen or force recognition or force love or a, a thing to recognize you. There's something about being recognized here. The more that you would try to make that happen, the more you would find resistance. It was just, it, you would just, um, it's like beating your head up against a brick wall. And your next blessing is actually going to come from you completely surrendering and letting go of control of the situation. Or maybe even walking away from it altogether, but almost immediately after you do that, you're entering into 
a major blessing. It's it's like right what like one it's like you take one step and the next step is the is the blessing. Is this gift. The advice that div the divine wants to give to you though is that you are afraid to let go, but you do not need to be afraid of that. If you Let's say this is something that you've already done. This is acknowledging the fact that you've completely let go. But if that's the case, spirit is asking you to cut the tie completely, to completely let the, that tie go, that cord, cut that cord. You'll know because it's like you you might have said no to someone or said, said goodbye to something, but your mind keeps lingering back into that space. It's time for you to really cut that cord. You're at the halfway point and... That's kind of where it's tripping you up right now because it's almost as if your angels and your guides are waiting for you to call the shots to make a move or to be more clear in where it is that you stand. Are you still lingering in the past or are you still lingering in what you originally wanted, what you're originally fighting for, or are we moving forward with the next blessing, with the next gift? Let me look to see, shuffling from the Gypsy Witch Tarot. Yeah, this is, I just heard lady in waiting. Wow, you got the joker twice. So this is going to happen really fast, my loves. Very, 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 very fast. Very fast. For some of you guys, it's like a lifestyle change in under three weeks. If this is walking out of one relationship, it's like you bump into the love of your life at the grocery store. It's very, very quick. But you have to actually commit to letting something toxic go or something that is outdated go. For those of you guys that have been in, have been single for a while, if this is regarding love, this is something that there's, you're holding on to something here and you're not completely letting it go. You're, whether it be um, harboring some, some type of resentment towards dating again or putting yourself out there, it's, if this is a job or a career, this is it could be you holding on to a concept of what money looks like. For some of you guys, you're you're doing a massive career change. This is a big change going on here. Like undeniably a big change. And it's so quick that it happens. So it's like you had the opportunity or you have the opportunity to let this old career or this old path go because something literally is showed up and gave you gave you an offering. Or as soon as you cut ties with this place or this organization or this company or this business and prioritize your own peace of mind, your happiness and even manifestation, look at my candles just blowing right now, you would be surprised how quick it'll happen. It'll happen so, so quick. Ooh, this card just dropped. Let me see what it is. Wow. The coffin. This is extra confirmation that it's it's ultimately it's time for you to let this go. Whatever it is, as soon as you let this thing go, the blessing is actually in letting something go. Whatever that is for you. Um, I just heard in my mind's eye, like I wanted to ask, like, well, yeah, the ring. See, it's like from the coffin to the ring. It's one one thing that is dying into something that will last. It's very very beautiful this energy this vibe right now let's look at the notes from the universe on love and connection oracle i love this deck it always speaks life oh my god you're being watched by loving eyes so this is something this something this is something that feels like some, something or someone who's been waiting to grace you but is respectful so they're keeping a distance it's like if someone sees that you're thriving in something also you have enjoy your unique extraordinary uniqueness there's something about you that stands out but this thing this person the situation is respectful of your gift your talent so they're not trying to bold their or who you are as a person so they're not trying to like bulldoze down and force their way into your life they're they're watching and they're waiting for the right time and it's right when you disconnect then that person comes through or that thing yeah things are not as they appear this is actually 
a blessing in itself because for some of you guys, you're facing fear or lack mentality. And this is your angels and your guides saying that I know that you're thinking that this can't happen, but for you it can. And it not only that, it'll happen quick. Forgive. So again, this is you forgiving the past or forgiving the, the situations that led you to believe that this blessing couldn't come in. For some of you, you've actually, to be seen is to be very vulnerable right now. So you don't even, you've, you've kind of been in a position where if you stand out too much, it's put you in a, a, bad, a bad state, in a bad position. So you've gotten almost too comfortable maybe, this is a very specific message for someone, with hiding yourself and hiding your light and hiding what makes you unique and different. Also, for some of you guys, there's someone here that really, or something here is really, would really cherish you, but they can't see, they can't see because you're not, you're not in a position to share your light right now because you're caught in the past, you're, you're caught in the old mindset. So this is another thing that the big, the biggest blessing is literally right around the corner. It'll come right when you let something go. It's just a matter of opening up the heart. You have three of cups here, which creates a portal for the heart. And then you have four of pentacles, which is the lockdown, where you just kind of are holding on to your fear or holding on to concern or holding on to your beliefs. And those things, what is that you hold, that you are holding on to will ultimately end up holding you back. So go ahead and let that go, okay? So, my loves, that was quick, short. Oh, I almost didn't read this for you. The dragonfly, wow, evolve. So the animal totem dragonfly will probably speak to you if you could. Um, go do a little bit of research on the symbolism of the dragonfly, and if you can, leave it down in the comments exactly what, it, what part of the message speaks to you the most. If not, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, please journal it. That's gonna be a part of the manifestation and setting intention for you. But also the word evolve. This is you evolving out of your old past state, old past life, old belief systems, old practices, all those things, you're moving past them, you're, you're moving beyond them. And any type of hurt or suffering or stagnation or struggle, this is exactly what it is that Spirit's asking you to forgive so that you can finally and completely move forward and onward into the next blessing and the next stage and cycle within your life, which will be a good one. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, candles and crystals are actually available in my shop. Everything's for the most part, is... Not all sold out, but pretty much. There are some lingering things and some lingering energies, like, or, um, sorry, I was just thinking about my energy cleansing. Sorry about that, my loves, but, um, like I was saying, yeah, if there's something in the shop that you need or you want, you can sign up for notifications as soon as it's available. It'll send a notification to me, and then I'll be able to quickly restock it. Also, I'm currently working on Jupiter transit readings. So, um, yeah. So there's that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. All right, my loves. If you chose the second crystal, this is your reading. Now, like I was telling the first group, I did shuffle while I was cleansing the energy, while I was cleansing the space. This is from the Wild Wisdom Australia Oracle deck. However, I'm gonna be live shuffling the other cards, specifically this deck in particular. It's actually a playing card deck, but I just channel really well. We're gonna be focusing on the blessings that the universe, that the divine has for you right now, and we're gonna ask for additional advice and guidance to help you to reach that blessing fast or to be open to it okay so i do have my money and abund my money abundance and business fixed candle burning right here on my left this is because i want to set the intention for that abundance and that good energy and those blessings to reach you even as i'm shuffling and pulling them for you now setting the intention that it does and also, if you would like to focus your 
your gaze on the candle while I'm connecting with this deck. This will help you to connect even deeper with this reading, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and bless, bless the deck and bless the space in my mind. I do wanna say that the number that's standing out for you is the number seven and also the number nine. I actually am getting um, a delay of some sort. I'm also, wow. So I'm actually getting a vision of honeycomb. Honeycomb is wonderful in magic uh, and setting attention. It's, it's wonderful, don't get me wrong. But honey, as you know, is sticky and it's also slow and It's a really interesting, sorry, I'm, I'm sitting with this energy too, um, as I'm talking to you. It's really interesting the change in the energy from the first group to the second. The first group felt like it was quick. This feels a lot slower. Feels very slow. Yeah, and I, that's, I can't even make this up. I was going to say I feel like a blockage, and then we have the two of swords. So there's something and five of pentacles, and this feels reversed for me right now. So there's something to do with you prepping for a blessing. Well, you prepping for the blessing by you feeling. I, I don't know another way to say that. I, I feel that this group, you may be avoiding or you might be not trying to confront something. You might not want to see something, but spirit is asking you and needs you to see something. They Spirit needs you to ask questions. Spirit needs you to show up. They've been, they've been trying to lead you through, I just heard like group therapy. That's really specific. For some of you guys, you might be It feels like it's two things here. It feels like a group that is supportive of you and encouraging you, but it also feels like a group that enables. <laughs> so I don't know if you have cho choices to make as far as who you're hanging out with, who you're listening to. For some of you guys, you have the Ten of Cups here, but it actually feels like separate. Some of you might have separated from family or have been called to separate from family and to go out on your own, but you, which it makes sense. It's like you go back, you go back or their minds or the, what they say, what they do, it, it pulls you back in. Or maybe this is, um, a, a family trait that you carry. There's something here that you are not open to seeing moving past, moving on from, which is interesting because group, the first group had the same thing, but it almost felt like they're more willing and you're more avoidant. I don't know another way to say that. You're like, there's like a blockage here. Like you don't want to see it. And that's what's creating a slow, yeah, five of swords. That's energy that hurts you. This could be this, oh, Spirit said that this has the potential to be something that's permanent. So you really want to ask yourself if it's worth it to keep this mindset, if it's worth it for you to continue in the same energy space, believing the same types of things. For some of you guys, this is really interesting. For some of you guys, you might have found something that was healing to you or helpful to you, but you stopped doing it. Spirit says, sit with that for a little bit, especially with five of pentacles. It's something that you're not doing that you were told to do or something that was helpful when you were doing them and you stopped doing it. It could be something as simple, something simple as 
the group that says, go to the gym, work out, you know, don't kill yourself, but push yourself. And then you have the gym that the, the, the other group that's like, you work so hard, come out and play, like come out and do this. And it's like what you're choosing to listen to, or this is you, you knowing that your blood sugar is this, or your, um, what is it called when you take too much salt? Like whatever that is, like, you know, that, that if you eat, that if you eat healthy, it'll be controlled and contained, but there's, and your family or your friends or your people, they know that, or you know that about yourself, but then you're like, oh, this can't hurt. But you know that, yeah, in moderation, it can't hurt, but you don't have the, the ability to practice moderation right now. And that's, that's honest, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I, don't get me started on what happens with me with a bag of Sour Patch Kids, girl. I would tear it up. I know that if I have one Sour Patch Kid, I'm going to destroy the whole bag because damn things are too good. They're just too good. And then I always, my mouth is watering as I'm talking about it, but I always have this like thought in my head that I'm like, oh, if I can just not squinch my face up when it's sour, then I win. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm sharing this with you. But I already know that like, of course, I'm going to squinch my face up and then I'm just going to take another one as soon as I'm done. And I chew through that one really fast so I can start over so I can prove myself wrong. And then next thing you know, the whole bag is gone. So we all have our things. It's like when you know better, you do better, but you might not be doing better, even though you know better. So spirit says in order to get to this blessing, you're going to have to choose your options wisely and begin to confront the very thing that is that you don't want to see. And the good news is, is that you, nine times out of ten, the majority of those re receiving who chose this crystal or chose this shell, you know, you know what it is. It's just a matter of what you decide to do. I do want to say that if you get lonely or if you get, there's something here that triggers you, that pulls you back into that place, especially with Ten of Cups. I Normally, Ten of Cups is a card that brings happiness and joy, but as you guys know, I don't read based upon traditional tarot all the time. I, I read from <clears throat> intuition when I had the Sacred Circle Tarot School. I would teach that a lot there. It's closed right now, but it will reopen, but just not right now. So with Ten of Cups, yes, this is normally the card of happily ever after, but for you, I see this as that comfort space that you revert back to in order to when things that aren't going well like for me personally again like when when I get frustrated with life the first thing I do I want to do is I want to get in the shower I want to take all my makeup off I want to get into cozies like cozy clothes I want to get a blanket I want to put the dogs away I don't want to be touched I don't want to be talked to I just want to be left alone and whatever that looks like is what it'll look like but that's my my mechanism, right? That's how I deal. Everyone has their own, everyone has different things, you know, different ways uh, of, of coping and dealing. So whatever this 10 of cups is for you is what, it's like when you aren't feeling well or when you feel sad or when you feel alone or when things aren't working out, you have a tendency to tipple into this bad habit. For some of you guys, this is about really expanding beyond your this bad influence I, I mean that's really what it is it's some type of bad influence and then saying you know no okay let's look at the gypsy witch tarot or gypsy witch oracle some of you guys oh my goodness this pile is very close to pile number one. But some of you guys are procrastinating. Yeah. See, this is something you got to stop doing. This is a scythe card or ski. They're scythe. I don't think it's scythe. I've been butchering that word for years now. If you guys are old friends and family to the YouTube channel, you already know. Um, but this is definitely confirmed something that is that you need to stop doing. Like completely cut it. And once it's done, once you sever that tie... And on, honestly, even when I'm saying this, Spirit is saying you have to be the one to do it. You can't wait for someone else. You have to be the one. It's like the Spirit is putting the the blade in your hand and saying, okay, cut, cut, the, cut the cord now. Yeah. Yeah, this is Cupid. And we have flowers. So this is the offering or the thing that comes up that you have a hard time saying no to.
It's very enticing. Now let's look at notes from the universe. Wow. Yeah, look at this, guys. You have earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. And then we have keep it simple. So exactly, this is energy that you do when, you were, when you're disappointed, when you're frustrated. And you would go back to it. But now you have the chance. Now you have the opportunity to do different. And with that, keep your process now simple. Do not over... You know when um you know when I was just having this conversation with one of my one of my close friends maybe like 3 weeks ago but we were talking about like making sure that we're taking our vitamins right and she has all these vitamins guys like so many vitamins and she was like I'm going to take I'm going to be I'm going to set my alarm for this time and I'm going to take my vitamins and I just remember I was actually driving when we were on the call I was like, you know what, you know, maybe don't, <laughs> maybe don't set such a high expectation for yourself. Maybe just focus on one disappoint, I'm sorry, one vitamin so that let's say like, yeah, of course your energy is high right now and you, you know, and you feel like you could do this today, but what would be the most realistic thing that you can do on your worst day so that you can still be constant, even if it's not you know, your, your best. And I was like, and if you have all these vitamins, which are great, don't get me wrong, but what if you vary it? So what if you take a multivitamin and then a fish oil, but there's always something that you're constant with instead of you chugging all these vitamins to me, that would make me want to vomit <laughs> immediately as I'm talking about it. So really what is that I'm trying to tell you guys is to keep it simple. And that's what your angels and your guys are trying to tell you. Keep it simple so that you're not overloading yourself. You, it's one thing to be inspired by progress and becoming your best version and becoming your best self. It's another thing to overwhelm and bombard yourself. Okay? So let's go ahead and look at your... Oh, wow, of course. You have Little Penguin, Mastery, Self-Mastery. Is that not... That is unbelievable. Interesting that the word is little penguin too. I didn't know that there was, I knew that there was emperor penguins, but I didn't know there were little penguins, but self-mastery. Is it self-mastery? Yeah. For a second, I almost doubted. I was going to say, is it self-mystery? But no. This is something that when you see it and you move past it, you will, I just heard enable, but awaken self-mastery within yourself. All right, my loves, I hope this made sense. I hope it resonated with you. If not, it might not have been, been your card or it might not have been your shell. But either way, thank you so much. I'm going to move on to the next pile. However, if you need me, I am working in the apothecary per usual, packing up the very last of the orders and also working on Jupiter and Taurus transit readings. If there's something that you need or want from the apothecary that isn't already in there, if you go ahead and check on the button on the website that says notify me when this is back in stock it'll send me a notification and then i can then prepare to clear out my schedule in order to work that for you especially when it comes to custom intentions but for the most part there's a, a few things that are lingering there keep in mind that we did just have a shop update and i am still as always you know doing everything by hand and that does take time okay so I'm sending you guys all of my love, and I invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, honeybees, if you chose this crystal, I almost said crystal, well, I did say crystal, but I was trying to say shell, this will be your reading. And for some reason, I want to leave her up upside down or open and receptive. So like I was telling the other two piles that... I have this oracle card pulled for you guys, but I will be live shuffling from this playing deck of cards, which I love. This deck is um, really wonderful, but playing cards always activate my intuition. It just always does. Anytime I look at something, it just pours it out. However, I also have the Money, Business, and Abundance Fixed Candle Burning. This is to attract additional blessings into your life. So I set the intention for that. But also, if you want to focus on the candlelight here, 
fix your gaze on the light as it burns and think about the blessings that the universe has for you or that you guys have for you, that will help. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and begin shuffling, connecting with your energy, connecting to the blessing that is ready to reach you now, what is next, and also asking for guidance on how to get you there. I just heard help is on the way, help is on the way. So it feels like something is incoming in the best way possible. I heard um, stroke of good luck, interesting. Okay, these are your cards. Wow. Wow. For some of you guys, you have been, oh my gosh, I was just about to say, anxious or having anxiety, and as soon as I was going to say it, the Eight of Swords popped up. Yeah, for you, my loves, you're about to get tremendous mental clarity. You're about to have a whole lot of stability when it comes to your emotions. There's about to be a major transition or major, major change when it comes to your feelings, your emotions. For some of you guys, you might have been like, I don't want to say this, but maybe tolerating life. I also feel like separating these cards and creating a, a doorway for something to come through. So it feels like something's about to enter in your life. And as soon as it does, you're going to feel a major pivot and change in your happiness and your joy. I just also heard, um, watch like on your radar, like looking on your radar, seven of swords. Yeah. You do not see this coming at all. Or if you're, it's almost, oh, okay. Wow. If it's not that you don't see this coming, it's that you have been quietly manifesting it like way off the radar. So other people don't see this. I also think that other people don't see your anxiety or the tension in your body or the tension in your mind. They almost see you as um, someone who has it all together. I also see just energy is just transforming big time. For some, for some of you guys that have been dealing with depression, anxiety, or like bouts of it, like where you just fall, like you plummet, this is going to change huge. This is going to change huge. Clarify seven of swords for me, please. Six of Pentacles, yeah, something is in the work here. Like something is being in the works right now. It's literally being worked out. For some of you guys, I'm actually seeing bread. Um, interesting, I'm seeing someone working in a bakery, a cafe, or they find comfort. Wow, this might not resonate with you for everyone totally, but when this enters into your life, it's almost like you go to a bakery, a cafe, and you find yourself spending time there, and it just feels really grounding and helpful to you. Like, it's another thing that contributes to your overall peace and well-being. If you are someone who is, like, works a lot or is doing the most, I almost see you taking a step back and getting a simpler job. The Ace of Pentacles, for some reason, for me, is showing up as like a, a um, not biscuits, but buns, like buns. For some of you guys, you might be taking a step back from a, a lifestyle that was very anxiety-inducing. You have the Seven of Wands here, too. It, literally, just so much stress. Yeah, Five of Wands here. A lot of stress, a lot of tension. King of Pentacles, this might have been your job. And then Nine of Wands. Yeah, a job that just beat you up. Four of Wands is ultimately where you're going to... And the Queen of Pentacles. My goodness, you have so many good cards here. The blessing that is coming into your life right now, my loves, is 1,000% a lifestyle change, a lifestyle shift. It almost feels like taking a step back for your own well-being, for your own peace of mind, but not to the expense of your security. It some, Somehow going 
like simplifying, which is funny too because the second shell group chose that card. Um, but something about simplifying and getting back to, it feels like if you're someone who's always in your head or ethereal, like in your intuition, it almost feels like cooking or baking. I just heard the word self-sabotage. So some of you, Spirit wants to warn you against feeling like doing a career change or an energy change or a lifestyle change feels like you might be sabotaging yourself. And it's simply not. It's actually, in, it's better for you. I'm also, I don't see the Six of Cups here, but I'm almost getting an image of someone revisiting their past and their childhood where they might not have had these major dreams for their for themselves. Like, they weren't expecting to be, like, you know, the leader of this technology company. They, but they, at the top, they step away and they, they create, like, a small local bakery. I don't, I don't know why a bakery or a cafe. Like, there's something about being in a cafe or a coffee shop or like making buns, I don't know, like specific buns. It just ends up giving you so much life like and purpose. Or maybe it's not so much the cafe or the coffee shop, but the fact that you can take a step away. Something about your lifestyle. So what would be the advice here? Because what is it? I actually feel like spirits like just keep going. Yeah, nine of swords. You have anxiety about it. Spirit is actually saying that your the advice here is going to come from looking at actually looking at it and observing. Look at your how life has been making you anxious or creating internal tension, that is actually going to help you to, to understand that this is not like, yeah, you might be established, but it might not be, or yeah, you might be successful. You have King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. So the work or the security or the stability is here. The commitment is here. If this is not a career change, this could be marriage, like a marriage that is stable. Like you guys have been together for a long time. If it's not a marriage, it could be a relationship. You guys have been together. Or if it's not a long time, it feels like a long time. It feels like, I don't want to say boring, but it, it doesn't... And there's a, a complacency here. And maybe you stay in this relationship because there's some type of perk. But there's something about taking a step back and being like, you know, my heart doesn't lift in this relationship. I actually am bored. And I would rather not have all of my groceries delivered. I would rather actually grow my own food or bake my own bread or work in a coffee shop and rebuild and make new friends instead of being this person who is living behind this gate. Like and anybody else on the outside will say, well, you live in this palace, like you can't just tolerate. And this is the energy that says, I'm anxious here. Like, I don't feel settled here. I'm safe, but I don't feel settled. It's very specific. So, that, that, so I would apply that message where it speaks to you. Yeah, and you even have the page or the knight here. It doesn't matter. Of wands who's just ready to, it, who's itching to get out. So let's look at the gypsy witch tarot. Also, guys, if this isn't you being... Maybe this isn't a change in your career or your marriage or whatever. This is something that's about to enter into your life that's about to actually give you a lot of purpose and meaning and all you have to do is keep carrying forward. If this is something that you're manifesting or working on or you're wishing for, it will happen. It's there's this everything is kind of flowing. 
it's like I'm seeing like two rivers flowing in order to create one river and then it just pours out into the ocean. Like it will connect, it will flow. Like it's all coming together. You don't have to worry about that. But whatever it is, it, it gives you a greater sense of purpose. Oh my goodness. We have children here. So this could literally be that of a child. It could be fun and playfulness and uh, creativity and jo like jovial. Yeah, we have the train tracks here, so this is exactly where it is that you're headed right now. It could be trying something new for the first time. Yeah, you're at the crossroads. So for those of you guys that it resonates with about, you know... Wow, I just got a message too. So for some of you guys who are much older, you know, like 50, 60, 40, um, 80, 90, and this feels like an older person who's getting, turning into a teenager. I don't know how else to describe it, but there's like, they come into their childlike state again because they are at the crossroads right now or they're at the point in their life where they're just like, okay. Do I do this? Do I do that? It's interesting, too, because remember I was talking about these two different rivers. So it's I honestly feel like all paths would lead you to this one moment. And I, honestly, I just feel like Spirit is saying, stay open to it. Keep your energy open. Keep going. Keep moving forward, especially with the railroad here. It's about keep going along the journey. So that's actually your advice is to keep going. Yeah, you have two of swords here twice. Interesting, because I think I said something about six of cups, and I was surprised that it didn't show up, and here it is now. And then the yes card. And spirit wants to also recognize that whatever you choose, it would ultimately you're going to find yourself back in the same spot. So if you're resisting this start or this new beginning, you will find yourself next week in that same position with that same feeling, with that same thought at the same crossroads until you make the choice. So it doesn't feel urgent. It just feels like whatever your energy is flowing is exactly how it will come. You don't need to rush it. For some of you guys, you might feel anxious, like time is, tick time is ticking or time is running out. I don't know why, but I'm definitely getting the Wheel of Fortune energy here. Yeah, look at this. We have the Tower card. And this tower does not represent surprises. It actually represents a person who lives in their ivory tower and just feels like they have all of their needs met for, but it just feels lonely or passionless. So this deck is notes from the universe on love and connection so the first card to jump in is wow honor thyself someone really needs to sit with that message prepare to be astounded i love that and then you are adored i don't know why but i just heard um for some of you guys you might need to share your hopes and your wishes with a partner so that they can understand and then the energy can change and shift because they will actually try now let me look at the oracle for you wow green sea turtle divine timing that is so funny because i genuinely oh i thought that there was a card stuck to this i genuinely felt this anxiousness about like timing and also like the flow it's so funny look at the symbolism of the green sea turtle <laughs> excuse me and write it down below if you can, which speaks, which one speaks out for you. And even honor thyself is about not rushing divine timing. It's about honestly going with the flow and spirits just saying like, stay open, especially king of cups. I don't know why. Well, I know why it's obvious. Anytime I see a sea turtle, I think about crush from finding Nemo and how he was so like, everything's going to work out. <laughs> Righteous, righteous. Oh my god. That reminds me, quick funny story. I'm sorry guys. Not tarot related, but one of my close friends, and I also did mention her in this video earlier on when I was talking about vitamins. She we were on the back of a golf cart. <laughs> we were on the back of a golf cart 
facing, I don't know if you've ever been in a golf cart before, but there's like the seats kind of towards the back. They kind of look out in the opposite direction of where you're going. And we were sitting on the back holding on for dear life because the person that was driving it was like whipping us around on the street. So not safe, but so much fun. And I remember looking at her and she was just like, righteous, righteous. <laughs> oh my God, I love her so much. She makes me crack up laughing. Anyways, the situation might not feel the safest, but ultimately it's there to make you laugh and life is meant to be lived and it's meant to be fun. And just enjoying the journey is another way that you can honor yourself and then also be prepared to be astounded because even if things don't feel like they're working out or things aren't flowing, they are. You would be surprised, literally. You would be surprised. You have the card prepared to be astounded, okay? So, my loves, wow. I'm so glad I did this. It actually feels really good to do a pick a card reading. I haven't done one in a minute. I've been channeling a lot lately, and I've also been traveling, as you guys know, so that's why there's been a little bit of... Um, a delay lately but it, it's all good it feels good for me to take those breaks in order to really truly live my life and even connect with you guys one-on-one -on -one individual I met some amazing people so um, if you need me you know where you can find me at bahadilife.com working with magic of course like I was telling all the other card pulls that if there's something specific that you want within the shop that is not currently in stock you can send sign up for notifications um, that will allow you to be alerted as soon as it is in stock and it'll also prompt me to create that or to contact you and to reach out to you so that we can get something going. Um, until then, for the most part, you guys, I'm currently still working on Jupiter in uh, Taurus transit readings, basically how to work through or how to maximize your abundance and your blessings. So it just, you know, those things take time. You guys know I don't just rush through them. But um, in the meantime, again, if you know if you know what you want and you know what you're looking for when it comes to magic and intention and manifesting, you know where to find me, BahadiLife.com. It's all there for you. I'm more than happy to help you to achieve and to work your magic to reach your goals. Until then, I'm sending you all of my love. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.